Now on with the next category, which is the slightly revamped Tourism and Leisure Award, sponsored by Transport for Wales. This award celebrates innovative initiatives that promote rail to audiences far and wide and beyond existing rail passengers. It recognises the vital role of leisure and tourism in supporting local economies and encouraging more people to use the train for sustainable and healthy leisure trips. The judges were impressed by the many excellent entries and the commitment to develop community rail as a central pillar of sustainable tourism initiatives. So, who was on the shortlist? <laughs> Some brilliant projects there. So, in third place, it's Derwent Valley's Valley Night Scrapping. Congratulations, Devon Cornwall. Our winning project set out to provide a resource to encourage visiting tourists to use public transport. The project team created a brand and set of materials offering a comprehensive resource to inspire travellers. The Community Rail Partnerships acted as expert tourist guides, building links with their communities identifying local tourist attractions and things to do within easy access of their stations and local bus routes. And since the launch, the team has promoted sustainable tourism to travellers during Community Rail Week. They've enjoyed great face-to-face -face engagement at exhibitions, and now they're developing a calendar of events to take the project on tour in 2023. I'm delighted to announce that our winner is Grenadine Trains of Wales and the Community Rail Partnership in Wales and Borders for Wales on Rails. Oh. Oh.